Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a while. I'm back better than ever. Today I've got a really exciting one for you guys. I finally got some off-white stuff. This time we got the off-white times Jordan collab in the t-shirt. I know it's nothing really special like some off-white Jordan, some actual shoes, but it is exciting for me since it's my first. So we got the white tee in a medium, that Jordan tee. It's really sick in my opinion. I just think it's a really clean tee. And as I said, I did get that in a medium. So I'm hoping it's not too big. I want a personal this. It's not going too bad on the resale. So if not, I'll either return it to Nike with the 60 day return policy, or I'll just sell it. So either way, I have a win-win situation. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this video. So yeah, as I said, I got this off Nike sneakers. I was pretty lucky to get this. I ran five accounts through the draw or the video drop, whatever you want to say. I ran five accounts through, I only got one. So I was very lucky to get this. So just a normal Nike bag. I might not even need to use a knife for this. Let's just say it actually. Um, yeah, I guess I'll open it without a knife. So just a standard Nike t-shirt bag or accessory bag. So it says off-white on the back, which is really cool. I always like the back graphics and then it has the off-white logo on the side. So there it is, as you can see right here, there it is. $100 retail, so it is pretty steep for a t-shirt, but I'm fine with it since it is off-white. Men's, as you can see, I'll open this up. We got the graphic, I'll throw this on the body too. It doesn't look to say off-white on the tag at all, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's all right. So if it fits like any other normal Nike tee, I should fit it with an oversized look. Pull this out of here. So here it is. It's got some plastic on the front, so we don't mess the screen printing up. And it is a very heavyweight t-shirt. Good quality, obviously, it better be. And that is sick, I really like that. It's on the side, it has a little off-white X with the Jordan in the middle. It says off-white on the back take the plastic off it says off white there with the newer logo then we got a basketball player I'm not even sure who that is we got Jordan on the front um, that is sick in my opinion so the tag here um, normal Jordan doesn't say off white or anything it says who heroes artwork by Philip Burke okay, the screen printing quality on this is pretty grand it's not even really recognizable as screen printing because it's so good it's almost like faded or like distressed I really like that how that is so it's like really good. I doubt that will come off in the wash or anything. So I'll flip it inside out. Um, it's really cool. The It's like almost like drawn on. That's how it looks like in person. So I'm going to throw this on, see what it looks like. And yeah, I definitely like this. It's definitely pretty sick. Although it is a little big on me, I'll have to think about if I want to keep this or what I want to do with it. It's a little bit big. It might have been better to go with a small, but for an oversized fit, it's not bad. As I said, it's got the off-white there on the back. We got an off-white X right here. It's not too much branding for an off-white tee, but overall it is very sick. It's more Jordan focused with the pictures on it and the graphics, but yeah, overall the t-shirt's really nice. The quality is definitely good. It's not a hundred dollar quality. Obviously off-white's gonna charge you crazy amounts for t-shirts and that kind of thing. Obviously it's also not the off-white price, which is like 400 bucks for a t-shirt, something crazy like that. Nike definitely brings that down quite a bit, but yeah, the t-shirt is definitely sweet. I'm happy with it. If I'm not keeping it, I'll definitely be selling it. So yeah. If you're interested in getting one of these, I'd definitely say go a little bit down in size. They're definitely more of a loose fit. So here's just a little close up of it. As you can see, the tag does not have any off-white branding on it or anything. But I didn't mention, I did realize this is standard fit. So it is not the loose fit like I believed it was. Also, it has an off-white tag, which is really cool. $100 retail, size medium. The screen printing on this, as I said multiple times, is very good. And it should be for $100. It's like sort of distressed almost. Um, it's really nice. Definitely good screen printing quality. You can almost see it. it's like it's drawn on. It looks really freaking nice in person. Definitely one of the nicest Nike shirts I've seen. Nike Jordan, whatever you want to call it. And then on the back, of course, we have the off-white right there and the newer logo they have. Really sweet. And then it says Nike Hoop Heroes artwork by Philip Burke. Really freaking sweet. And then Burke 2020. Definitely a very, very sweet t-shirt. A hundred bucks is steep, although it is very freaking nice for off-white. It's definitely cool in my opinion. I'll probably be keeping this because I honestly think it's really nice, but I'll have to decide. So yeah, anyways, let's wrap this video up. So yeah, other than that, honestly, the shirt's freaking dope. I'm really happy with it, like I said, multiple times. But if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.